Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. EA Sports must be on something because they dropped something yesterday that was completely unexpected and that was the biggest SBC pack we have ever seen. Yes, the Centurions 100 player upgrade pack was dropped yesterday. It's costing about 120,000 coins to do it. It is the definition of a gamble pack, but it's so cool and so different because usually these packs are only in the store. A lot of people are doing this. It's impacting the fodder market so much and it did make some other prices drop yesterday. So I want to take a look at this upgrade pack, talk about why it's a little bit of a scam but also how it's craftable and it's a gamble. It's fun. So basically everybody is doing it and EA know that and that's where they dropped the SBC. But I also want to take a look at what's going to happen today. EA just gave us that 100 pack. So are they going to refresh an icon pack with all of the fodder that we have? What's going to happen to the Centurions cards today as we expect a mini release of probably three to four more cards in the game today? Will we finally get one of those players like Zlatan Royce or somebody who we really want to see inside of the Centurions promo? And of course, the market's not really crashing. We'll talk about that as well. People have not decided yet that team of the year is close enough to sell cards for the market's still pretty alive and well so we'll talk about that in this video today so if you're excited for it hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you're new also let me know who you packed in the 100 player pack down below in the comments because i want to know i have not opened this pack yet i will do it and we got to talk about it right because it's coming in at 120,000 coins which you might be like nate you get 100 players from this 80 golds 20 rare silvers and it's only costing you technically three squads, so it's a good value, right? You turn in 33 players to get 100 back, that's great value. Most of the time it would be, but you're turning in 120,000 coins worth of cards, right? An 83, 84, and 85 rated squad, it is the definition of a gamble. You don't get very good packs back. It's not that hard to do, though, at 120K. It's very craftable for a lot of people, and that's why so many people are doing it. Here's another way to tell that people are doing it. Look at the index 84. From 138 points yesterday, skyrocketing to 200 points. It's now down a little bit because we still have lightning rounds that are out. We still have some tradable supply, but 84s are up to about almost 4,000 coins. 85s went up almost 1,000 coins. All of your fodder, uh, especially the low tier, right? Your 83s are like 1.2K. They are just slowly rising. Of course, they had a quick spike yesterday, but they are maintaining those high prices because this SBC, right? Look at 84 Bono from 3K, boom, all the way to 4.3. These guys are probably going to continue to rise up a little bit more throughout the rest of this week. I know we might have more lightning rounds today on Sunday with more cards and packs, people opening some more of those packs, but... I truly do feel like with more SBCs coming, if we get more player SBCs, if we get other stuff, other content throughout the week, you know, that 4K to 5K range for the 84s is probably where we're going to be. So if you have these, I'd be lazy listing, right? There's a lot of demand for this SBC, maybe a few people doing Terrier, people still doing the Riyad Mahrez. And of course, with all of these gold cards that people are getting, right? Those who have opened the 100 players pack, this is also something they can see as like good value, potentially if the fodder they get to go and do icon SBCs. There are so much, there's so much crafting that's happening right now. And a lot of people are thinking in that way because fodder has been so plentiful recently. So that's kind of what I would, uh, I would watch out for with fodder. If you have it, I would hold on to it now. Again, like we said, this is a truly gamble pack. It made the low tier fodder go up. High tier fodder or some of the middle tier is maybe still in an investable kind of range, uh, but it's up a little bit, right? And then you look at Tiago Silva, like 13,000 coins for 86s. That is up a little bit. These guys were on Friday like 11K, right? 11,000 coins. They went up a little bit because of the icon player pick being refreshed, but they were barely up and now they're up another thousand coins. The thing is today, as a part of Sunday content, could we see another icon pack dropped on the game or another sort of gamble SBC? Think about it. If you're EA Sports, you just gave all these people on the game this 100 players pack. They opened it yesterday or they're going to open it. It would be perfect with all these people that, like myself when I open this pack. All of us that open this pack, we have the gold cards now in our club Hey, it would be smart if we're EA to drop an icon upgrade, a hero player pick, or another some sort of gamble pack. Like Sundays recently, last week we got this base icon player pick on a Sunday. I think either today or tomorrow we're going to see another pack like this, whether it's a base icon player pick, base or mid. Maybe it's a, a hero player pick that we haven't had in, in a bit, or maybe it's even a player pick that just contains some of the most recent promo cards. I think EA is going to release something like that either today or or Monday. But again, EA has been so 
kind of like, I don't know, mischievous lately with these upgrade packs, with these gamble packs. They have been doing stuff that we have not expected, right? This base icon player pick was not expected last week on Sunday. And now this pack being in SBCs, like we just have to talk about that for a second. That's crazy. All of us, I don't think anybody really expected that pack to be in SBCs. Let's be completely honest, because every single pack that we've ever seen like that has been in the store, right? And it's always been if a play, if the pack has, you know, that many players in it, the 100 player packs we've seen so far was in the store. The pack code looked like it was going to be tradable. So I guess now we have to be careful when we're looking at pack codes because sometimes when they say that they're going to be um, or they don't say untradable in them, if there's no untradable designation, then who knows? They, they might end up still being untradable even though they don't say that they're going to be. So that's just crazy. Again, it just, it's kind of a good reminder because a lot of times, uh, I'm not trying to brag, but a lot of times we, we get it right. We, we talk through things, we figure things out, and we can kind of guess where EA is going to go with stuff, right? But this was a big surprise. I don't think anybody expected this, and it kind of humbles us in a, in a bit, right? We have to be like, all right, EA is in control here. They can do whatever they want. But honestly, seeing that yesterday in SBCs was a big shock. And like I said, everybody's doing it because the gamble is just, this is a new type of gamble, and it's the biggest pack we've ever seen in terms of number of players in an SBC pack. So that's enough to talk about that today, but I do think this is going to impact the market for the rest of the week as people have a lot of gold cards in their club. Now, again, like we said today, Sunday, I really do think that this could mean EA is either going to refresh this base icon player pick, either do a base or mid player pick, or drop something related to heroes in, in terms of a player pick or of a pack or something along those lines, either today or tomorrow. Now, of course, on Monday, we would probably expect to see some upgrade packs as well. I'm seeing a lot of these packs, like the, the 100 packs that have been opened. A lot of people have been getting a couple walkout cards at the very beginning. It's kind of, you're lucky if you get a Centurion card inside the pack and then just so many gold rares between, I don't even know, like 80 to 75 rated. So many gold rares, it's absolutely ridiculous. So everybody's gonna have a club full of those. And, and of course, um, that's gonna be perfect type of fodder to put into regular upgrade packs to try to pack Centurions. Now I've got my 83 times 25. I might open that today if we get a really good mini release. I might just keep on holding it because again, the most of this promo team, doesn't look that amazing to me. Of course, you've got Neymar, you've got some big names in there, but that's just kind of what I'm thinking with my 83 times 25. Now, like we said, upgrade packs, those are probably not till tomorrow, but who knows? Maybe EA is going to drop the regular like gold upgrade packs, like a 78 plus player pick or an 80 plus double, that sort of upgrade pack. You can't throw it out a question for today just because EA have been on this kind of weird cycle of changing things up recently. Now, one thing that we know for sure about today's content is there's no questioning this. EA have told us on their website that there will be a mini release today, Sunday, January 8th, the second Sunday of 2023. They're going to drop a mini release today. We don't have any leaks right now of who's going to be in this uh, mini release. But of course, per usual, we expect three cards, maybe four if they're feeling generous. And usually the mini release cards, two of them are fodder. One of them is kind of useful. I really hope that they copy what they did last year during Winter Wild Cards. Everybody members remembers this Zlatan, right? Zlatan Winter Wild Cards from last year was a mini release card. If only this would be a mini release card today. We can hold uh, our hopes, but I actually wouldn't get too high because that just does not kind of go along with how the Centurions promo looks like it's going. Now, speaking of Centurions cards, Today, I would expect to see their prices drop off even more. Now, yesterday, these cards actually, it's kind of crazy. These cards rose up into the day. This is something that actually hasn't happened too much recently. A lot of times on Friday nights, there's sometimes a rarity bounce on the really rare cards, like it happened with Neymar, right? Uh, Neymar's card last night went from like 2.4 mil, 2.5. He bounced up to like 2.7. So there was, if you got a snipe here and you got a really good sale here, there was potential to make a little bit of profit. And then he went down like crazy, right? That's kind of the normal that what we've been seeing with promo cards. But what happened with like Ben Yedder and Kempembe is there must be just so much hype for these Centurion cards. Um, I mean, I know they look decent. I know they look pretty good. But with so many people saying and thinking this promo was a bit of an L, I was not expecting this yesterday. But look, Ben Yedder went from 550 all the way to 612. He's now down to 540. Could that happen again? 
maybe, but still, I'm going to be really careful with my coins right now. I didn't trade at all yesterday, even though there were some opportunities to trade. If you're doing any of trading right now on the market, I would probably not stick with these guys too much because they will probably drop off some more in price today, apart from a couple of fluctuations. Um, and then, you know, I would just look at like winter wild cards or other out of packs cards that would be moving around. I know like uh, Gabriel Jesus as a rare card out of packs, even with the Mares, he was down at like 520K. Boom, he spiked back up to about 560. So maybe if you got a 510 there and you sold it at 560 or 570, you know, there's opportunities to trade on this market, but I would still be careful. I would still be very, very careful today on the market inside of this game because I really do feel like um, we're getting closer and closer. And, and that's what I want to talk about next, right? We didn't see the market crash really start yesterday. And that was something that I really talked about in yesterday's video was maybe starting to see the beginnings of a team of the year market crash. And we did it, right? And again, like I said, it's super duper tough to call and to try to guess when this stuff is going to happen. That's why I've been talking about it, you know, on and off here for the past couple of days is just start to think about that stuff. Because if you think about it and if you're ahead of the game, you're going to end up way ahead, right? And you're going to be selling when a lot of people are maybe still buying and you're going to be able to get out of cards before stuff absolutely gets destroyed, right? And there will be some big drop offs in the market. It's just a matter of when, not really an if. So again, like I said, I know I, th I thought it was maybe going to start as soon as yesterday or today. And yes, there are some card prices that are down, but I would not say that there is a market crash right now at all. The market is still really healthy with the weekend league demand that is there. Again, the one thing that we saw earlier this year, which may be the tipping point upcoming this week is on when we had the whole World Cup. Everybody was fearing for the World Cup and a market crash and prices dropping. Then what really started to trigger that was when EA dropped the World Cup warm-up series promo which that promo was a week before we had path to glory maybe even two weeks before i don't even remember the exact time frame but they dropped that before it was right after the out of positions promo and that was like a message to everybody in the, the play this game it was like okay this is the world cup warm-up series promo we're thinking about the world cup next and that's what we have set our eyes on right now for a lot of maybe casuals or people that don't follow the game as close right now they're like oh this is still centurions this is a cool new promo with a 90 pace trent and a neymar and a ben Yedder. To a lot of people, this promo might look really cool still just because it's, it's items that we don't often get to use that are very meta and EA gave them some, some nice stat boosts. So that could be a part of why the market's really not, you know, crashing that much right now. But again, I really believe that once we start to get talking about team of the year stuff, which is the 10th, Tuesday is the leaked date for when we start to have team of the year voting. I mean, I'm not going to sit here every day and tell you the market's going to crash this day, this day, this day. It's just going to be coming soon. So get ready for it to start. The, the switch will flip, like we said yesterday, and stuff will absolutely uh, start to go down. But honestly, yesterday, with some prices that went up, um, you had a good opportunity to sell some cards in some profit scenarios going even higher than what they were on Friday and take some extra coins there. So take those opportunities as they come and being full and tradable or near to be full and tradable uh, in the next couple of days is, again, going to be a very, very smart move so last thing i have to talk about today is we do have one leak and i do expect to see more leaks today i'm sure that sheriff is gonna um tweet some stuff out about who is gonna be in the mini release today of course right now we do not know who is in the mini release but he tweeted out long and laquinas this is an mls dynamic duo and we did have an SBC yesterday with the Terrier. I'll talk about that here in a second. But could this be our SBC content for today? Could this be an objectives? I'm not entirely sure where this is going to get placed. We've seen dynamic duos in both objectives and SBCs. But for my American lads, this is going to be a nice center back to add. Uh, if these are the, um, I don't know if these are predicted stats or actual, but if those are actual stats, that's a really good Bundesliga center back. Or sorry, not Bundesliga. I got the Red Bull logo mixed up there for a second. That's a really good MLS center back. So if that comes out and it's really, really cheap, you know, maybe some of your cheaper center backs on the market could drop off in price or for the Brazilian left mid Laquinas, you know, that kind of reminds me a little bit of like the Tales Magno uh, from last year. I know that was a silver card, but just watch out if that if that drops, uh, then that could move the market maybe a little bit if the stats are really, really insane. Of course, you want to keep an eye on your MLS cards. Every time there's a leak for MLS stuff, I haven't even looked at the Landon Diamond card, but I'm sure that this is going up in value right now. Actually, let's go take a look at this because every time there's MLS stuff that is leaked, these guys go up. So Donovan yesterday was about 194 and he's kind of trending towards 210 now. So Donovan and Dempsey, 
probably the um, the goalkeeper as well. Um, the Mexican goalkeeper, whose name I keep thinking of Ochoa, but that's not right. Yeah, look at Dempsey, 25,000 coins up to 28K. So I'm sure all the MLS heroes are rising right now at the moment. I keep an eye on that kind of stuff because if those SBCs are good value, especially this Landon Donovan, that's going to bring some hype back to a card like this. So, you know, keep an eye on these sort of prices when we see that content today. And that could be one place that you maybe watch the market a little bit. Now, other thing I want to talk about really quick is too, is like some of your cards that are on this market right now, uh, they did have fluctuations yesterday. And if we're going to trade right now in this market, like we saw last Sunday, I want to talk about this quickly because last Sunday was an incredible time to make coins as we normally see a market rise on Monday. Now, I know we're talking about the whole team of the year crash and stuff, but if people aren't that scared of that yet, one thing to watch out for today is panic selling because of an icon pack, a player pick, or some other sort of gamble SBC. And if that does happen today, the two kind of ingredients that we saw last Sunday, this is kind of like a really good moment to watch out for today. The two ingredients that we saw last Sunday that made the market drop with this base icon player pick was we had an we had a tradable mega pack SBC released. It was one of those winter wild card challenges. I think it might have even had a token in it. It was a tradable mega pack, and that was dropped at the same day and same time as this base icon player pick. So you had people that were panic selling their cards to go and afford fodder to build this SBC, and at the same time you had fresh supply hitting the market. So a lot of gold cards last week. I remember looking at Mohamed Salah as a very popular meta gold card that a lot of people still value in their teams that are on lower budgets. And this Salah card was, I think, like 48,000 coins, right? Now he is kind of at a different price range because he is literally fodder priced right now for a 90 rated card. Um, he's still right around 50K. But what I would watch for on your meta gold today and, and your out of packs market as well, I would look for panic selling if we get an icon or some sort of gamble pack like that. And if it's good value, which as long as it's somewhere near good value, people will go and do it. Again, with a lot of fodder that has been available recently, I would really keep an eye on the market today. And I would say that if there is supply as well, watch your stuff that is in packs. Watch the Centurions just because they are pretty hyped cards, right? A guy like Yetter, Trent Alexander-Arnold, Kempembe. Sunday night is a general low time for promo cards from the most recent promo team. So keep an eye on these cards today if there is panic selling or if there is supply and these cards cards will probably have a bit of a drop off. And then for the rest of the market, I mean, these cards seem to still be pretty um, consistently moving around in price. And that means a short term flip, right? There's a difference between holding your team and selling your team before the team of the year market crash, which is going to come in two weeks or a week or now, right? Sometime in that span. And also buying a card tonight on Sunday and selling it tomorrow on Monday morning, right? That's a short term flip with hoping for a market rise after rewards, which if the market keeps moving like it is, and if it doesn't start crashing like crazy today, you'll probably have an opportunity to flip. So it's kind of like we're talking about two different pictures, the big picture with the market crash and the little short term picture with an opportunity to quick flip cards and make some coins on some of these meta cards. So I would watch your Serie A items like um, one card that keeps coming to my mind is like Kim Min Jae because a lot of people have still done this Politano. He's 120,000 coins still. If there's panic on a guy like this today, I would watch that. I would also watch panic selling on maybe a, a link to the, the Riyad Mahrez, right? We've just had a Riyad Mahrez has been very popular. Joao Cancelo, like let's say an SBC comes out today, like an icon player pick, and he drops to like 120K in the first hour or two. The cards that are out of packs will drop the quickest and then a rebound the quickest as well. So I would just say to keep an eye on the market today, there will be ample opportunities um, unless there's some big news that is released that like, oh my goodness, team of the year, you know, starting to get crazy, uh, some insane piece of content that makes the market absolutely die that looks like it's not going to bounce back, that sort of thing. Um, if it's just like an icon SBC and then like a pack for an SBC and the mini release, right, then it's probably going to be a case where we see some drops on the market and then we see some bounce backs as well. So keep an eye on the market today. We'll be live streaming hopefully around the content drop or as close to the content drop as we can. Sundays are always a bit busy for me, but um, just kind of keep an eye on the market today because there still will be opportunities to make coins. I'm trying to push this coin balance. This is the most coins I've had liquid up in the top left this entire year. We've been grinding the past couple of weeks up to 5.3. I would love to be at 6 mil um, in you know two weeks from now when we're firing away at team of the year and doing a lot of upgrade packs and crafting. If I would have 6 million coins, then I would be pretty happy. So that's kind of my goal, right? Maybe set yourself a small goal. If you want to try to trade a bit, however that 
may be, whether it's with fodder, whether it's with just quick flipping on the market or, um, you know, whatever, maybe even bronze pack method going into the, all of that stuff right now. The, still the menu grind is here with bronze pack method. You could craft the 100 players upgrade pack. You can still profit pretty well from BPM since there's bronze informs or bronze base cards that are giving out as gold informs. I saw somebody get two informs in a bronze pack on Twitter. Crazy stuff like that. So however you're going to try to make your coins this week, maybe set yourself a small goal and uh, of course be careful, but keep grinding as we get ready for team of the year and all of the fun that is about to happen then. But I just want to talk about that stuff today in the video. This 100 pack is really shaking up the game. We'll see if EA shake anything else up today on Sunday. Hopefully the mini release has some fire players. If it does, I might go ahead and rip that 8325 and uh, then I'll have to deal with all the fodder, but then I'll probably go and do some SBCs with it. And we'll of course do that on stream. So that li stream link is down below in the description. If you not, did not uh, know that it's there, check it out. And uh, yeah, man, I'll see you guys today. Thanks for watching the video today. If you did enjoy, smash thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.